Now, obviously, this is new. Obviously, where he's perched right above me. So I'm gonna get to my rim, have a smoke of some grass, no, just a tobacco. I don't wanna blow smoke up people's bum holes and so I smoke that marijuana crap that people lose their minds on. It's like alcohol is worse, but it's marijuana is worse. Oh, now. I've got a stick just in case I'm trying to move with a little one. Ready? What not to, or not to, or what to do. <laughs> See how I stop that one up and I'll get worse and worse as the day or night progresses, but you just can't tell because we've got a light on. And again with lights, birds would love a light 24-7, just humans can't afford to pay the bill. Now why is this? Then they would not be nervous and paranoid every sound that's made, they wake up. Obviously if something jumps on the roof, they'll startle, and any roof, aviary, cat, possum, you name it. These guys, but leave a light on. They turn their heads and put it in between their shoulder blades and they sleep like Boris did today for about six hours up there, or eight hours. Showed my mum the first couple of times, you didn't even wake up the, the last time you got up. Like, Gargamel's usually asleep, but he's just woken up because he's was whistling, boy. But see, asleep, and now I go around, but I might start on asleep. They just tuck their heads. If they are tired, they will sleep like more tissue. Then they go away, it's not. The males are up. You can see the parrots are asleep now. <whistles> oh. But yes, I'll get a little bird lamp like I have on every aviary. And if the sunlight doesn't come out or it's a cloudy day, I can turn the lights on for them. And if I go out there at night and want to write a book or stay out there a bit later, I can leave the light on. And they love to be up. They're like us when I was a little kid, just once enthralling what do you give them next? What can you build them next? Like some toilet rolls and some string and they'll rip that shit apart. I've got some videos on that, but ready? How to get to a room with cocky over your head safely without going near him. Hello. Good boy. So I'm up. Can I have a pat? Can I have a pat? You're so close. Can I have a pat? I know you could bite me. Oh, hey. Oh. No, oh, you don't want to pat, but I can pat you with this. And without the camera, I can pat him too. <whistles> this is the camera. You're just getting used to the camera. Show boy. <whistles> He's a big boy, see? No, I'm so soft. I'm tickling me. Oh, hello. Oh. I could probably walk past him. Hello. See, I'm putting my hand near him. I shouldn't. Want to? Oh, but I'll walk past you and everything will be alright. See, on the other thing, don't pay attention to them, do your own thing, and they won't even hassle you one bit. At the same time, record them, look at them, and they'll be showing off. It's when you don't look, is when they show off. It's when you look, they don't show. Sometimes they do both. Oh, see, let me walk past. Oh. They'll get over a stick. Oh. Sorry, I dropped the stick. Good boy. Yes. I'll get to my room. Doors open. Fish tank. That I'll get a lion fish for $170. I found one. I was going to get turtles, but you need a heat lamp. You need that lighting. It's an expensive thing, but with a lion fish and a little generator that obviously runs off petrol, $5 a week. Once the light runs out, I go shit. The Petrol just ran out. Let's go to the petrol station. Put five dollars in. And these generators don't make that much sound, and that generator will be next to each Avery by the end of it. So the bird light goes off at petrol or gas, or whatever the fuck a generator is. So cheap, like a solar generator. Just the sun heats something that obviously generates the power to run the lighting. When I want to switch it off, buddy. Oh, can I have a pat in my from my room? Can I have a pat? Oh, I'll pat you like that. There you go, boy. Oh, let's see where you are when I come back, okay? I'll leave you like that. And...